It is unlike many of my films. The first 24 films are films on art. And while Svetlana was engaged with the visual arts, it was just a part of her work. And I hadn't made a film before that's about a writer. And I also hadn't made a film that was a real homage to somebody and made really as an act of love. Mm -hmm. Svetlana and I were very close in her last years. I hadn't thought about making a film about her while she was alive, or I might have approached it differently. I might have interviewed her, but there wasn't that chance. And it was after I had finished the film I was working on in her last months, a film on the art historian A.B. Warburg, who interested Svetlana very much, uh, and I dedicated the film to her, to her memory. And her parents, whom I got to know in the last months of Svetlana's life, saw the film and said, would you make a film about Svetlana? And I said I would think about it. It wasn't the kind of film I usually do. But I had to explain to them that when you make a documentary film, you have to be completely independent. So I wanted to hear their stories. I was grateful for any photographic material, documents of any sort, but they couldn't tell me how to do it. <laughs> they couldn't say, oh, you should do this or that. And they said they understood, and they really stuck by it. And the only thing they asked occasionally was, can't you make it longer? And I said, no, I really wanted it to stay at an hour. And then the question is, how do you evoke somebody? I mean, in a sense, so many films do that. So much of art is about evoking the dead you know, keeping their memory alive, giving a sense of their work through the work that you do to suggest them. Mm 